What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, sadly the one thing from this event that isn't great, we can only get five of the new Core of Origin chests, which means we need to wait and find three more before we can do some really fun stuff. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but what we did do is we do have her built as a tenant for Betty anyway, so she kind of does have some power attached to her. I wonder if we should, no, we're doing X levels over here, never mind. I was like, I wonder if I should get some X levels going on her. Not quite yet, no, we're still leveling up Gster for our, I think, Gster's for Sparkles now? We kind of have two pretty solid homes so far. Uh, and then we're going to be working on hers next. Man, this one really sucks. I really hate it for Betty, but, you know, it is what it is. She is going to be a better tenant than Asriel. The only downside is we have a really, really crappy awakening on her right now. So, let's do this. Let's first and foremost, I'm not really going to be doing a ton of soul awakenings this week. I will need to do some of them, of course. Uh, place it for a blank copy so that the main body doesn't have any. And we'll do a single awakening on her there you are right there uh we do have a free one but i'm just gonna do the c plus you never know it could high roll into something crazy insane uh i got a little bit of progress there show me some blue i mean what, what are we talking about blue green uh yeah it's still better than what we had so uh we will have that be good enough now we are in depth 30 so i don't know what this hero is going to be able to do However, I kind of want to throw her in with a full support style team and see what happens. Now, Betty might just steal the show like always, but you never know. Uh, honestly, a lot of these heroes could steal the show, but I really want to try to see what she does. You know what? We could even try just like chucking these two in and see what happens with her abilities here. Uh, see if she can even do some damage. The nice little bone. Oh, gosh, there's assassins. Yeah, never mind. That's not going to work. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna work. We go. Uh, she's just gonna die. So let's move on to another wave. How about that? Does that sound like a plan? I think that sounds like a plan. We'll just beat that one. And oh gosh! All right, hold on. Let's just beat this one too. <laughs> there, no, there's more assassins. They're just gonna keep targeting her. What? I just. We don't have destiny transition. This is totally not fair. This is absolutely not fair. This isn't even a comparison. Come on, man. Give me something. There's more assassins. <laughs> They're all just going for the weakest target. I think she might be able to live through this one. We'll see. Oh, no. She's instantly CC'd. Yeah, my gosh. Testing without divine power. Because you got to remember, we're throwing her into a game mode where she has zero divine power. And the enemies we're facing literally have 10 stars. That means they have a huge divine power gap. Translates to be, um, they do 100% more damage to us. <laughs> so that's kind of rough. We can't do any seal land. There's very few game modes we actually have available to us to even test with. We could try in hollow, just seeing how she would do on some of these teams. Like even down here, we could chuck her in. The bottom team just to see if we can make her work at all uh, this might be a little bit easier of a mode because the enemies aren't as dangerous so let's stick with this let's see what she can do here our natalia should be able to tank for us mostly let's see what her abilities look like though uh, so she did get a stun off immediately i believe that was her she has these little icons it looks like that are her buff And even our Vulcan is doing a lot of damage here. Oh, that is a lot of chase attacks. Holy cow. I mean, I know Vulcan kind of stole the show there. But my goodness. <laughs> my goodness was that a lot of damage. Granted, we also have to remember, uh, we've had a lot of upgrades to our account now. And so Void Hollow is going to be much easier for where we were currently stuck at. Uh, let's try this again, except I'm going to remove like a lot of these heroes and just chuck in some randomness here for some survivability to try to get a little bit better look at what she can do. And you know, what we could probably do even get rid of her, like go to absolutely no really solid heroes and see if she's strong enough in her current state 
to do enough damage to win because again we're kind of in a hollow mode where it's not super dangerous i mean it still is dangerous i really want to see how her abilities work but i think we went a little bit too far we went a little bit too weak honestly is what it looks like so let's jump back in here i guess we'll put back in because you could give us a lot of survivability uh we basically have her built with resident gear she has like a skill damage attack attack stone just because i ran out of dust uh this should be better survivability just having hyperspace hunter island mock on our squad and we can kind of see how her abilities are going to play out so you can see there she pings a lot she does apply that debuff to him that little uh kind of bullseye thing we do have an active coming up from her as well let's see how it happens she doesn't oh she's got full shields man that eo sun is so annoying when she's up there in the top all right it's our turn let's see what happens here yeah hyperspace on our island mock is going to do quite a bit of damage there i know i know this is really slow but i want to watch this and see what happens nobody else is really going to be doing crazy amounts of damage here here we go go ping they do the counterattacks, counterattacks because hit queen, and then the rest for ability should go off here. Oh no! I guess because she doesn't have those stacks built up, she's very much a ramping up type of hero, maybe. Granted, she does have lots of chase attacks and everything, which is nice to see, which probably does add up over time what happens here so she hits all over the place didn't crit which it feels bad i swear that sun is like triggering me right here sadly she's not gonna get an attack this round either it doesn't look like because she is feared it's, it's kind of good but like granted you have to remember this is a giant killer plus interesting i don't know i don't know i don't know if she's quite amazing just yet in the late game again it's gonna be so hard to test these heroes nowadays just because of the way it works out um i guess we can give it one more try although there is a sword flash which might be a little bit sketchy here At least there's no eo so i can see my hero the entire battle and again she might be a better hero to use something like melodic strings on i kind of just went with a safe bet of a crown just because of how she kind of works taking a lot of damage even with the crown which is kind of again why we decided to do this throwing Islamok in here for the test does help a lot to keep her alive against tougher enemies than she typically would be able to go up against her damage is about to come right here it's like very little ping damage maybe we have to try her with the melodic strings but again without divine power without giant killer it's so hard to like test in comparison and no destiny transition like it's just impossible to test these heroes early on even like she even has full like destiny or she's got full uh origin tree and everything and it just doesn't feel like it's super impactful i mean there are a lot of little chase attacks there which is kind of cool and again like i said the longer the battle probably the better because she builds up more of those pings but it's so random who she's hitting yes it is armor ignoring but i mean it does really start ramping up though wow uh it does ramp up but again it's just so hard to test this stuff out I'm just going to do this one real quick so we can make our progression finally here. We're going to completely wreck this wave. We have so much more power on our account now than previously when we pushed this. Lord of Sparkles just wrecks face here. <laughs> just so much damage from Lord of Sparkles. It's not even funny. There we go. All right. So, yeah, we're on to Chapter 5, finally. <laughs> <laughs> does anybody be in chapter five not quite yet i'm gonna have to push i don't even think i got yeah i'm like fifth place i'm way behind but um interesting interesting to say the least very hard to test right off the bat but considering the power level she's at versus all of her other damage dealers that wasn't that bad all things considering so i am optimistic 
But again, a full test of this hero is gonna have to wait like until the next big event so we can get three more cores of origins. We'll have to wait. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.